Hi, my name is Carissa Cowan, and this is my presentation, Barriers in Using Web 2.0 in the 21st Century School. My thoughts on Web 2.0. Uh, first of all, Web 2.0 is anything that has to do with the internet and using it. Um, I would say it's most likely described as the access that schools have to the internet and how they're using it. Um, first of all, the reason why teachers don't use it is lack of time. Um, I say I'm very much part of this. I go to school early to try to get caught up, and then after school I go to practice, and practice isn't over till 5.30 some days, um, earliest at 5 o'clock, and I just don't have time to work on prepping extra lessons to help integrate technology. Um, I try really hard to do this, though, because I feel that it's really important. Another reason is lack of training. Teachers always complain that they don't have enough training. One of the reasons is lack of time. Also lack of funding to send teachers to training, especially how to use technology. Lack of technology support. In my building, there's one tech person that has to help everyone in the district. and He simply doesn't have any time to help all of us. And lack of administration support. Luckily, I have great administrative support. Um, she helps me with my projects. If I bring something to her, she works through it with me, and she's always willing to help me with things. She's also very supportive if we see something that we want, trying to allocate funds, helping us to achieve those goals. And the school culture. Right now we're in a shift from a sit and get, get type of learning. A lot of teachers don't feel comfortable using the technology, and since they've been doing the same thing for years, why should they change? So we're trying to teach teachers, which is kind of funny to say, teach teachers how to make a shift from a lecture type class to maybe a PBL or challenge-based learning <coughs> type environment, which is kind of an interesting shift. The digital divide, um, what it is is basically that uh, students don't have access to technology in certain places or the internet. Um, right now in our school we do have great internet. Uh, but when they go home, a majority of our students don't have it, which is kind of complicated for when I'm doing the flipped classroom. So if any of you have watched my first video, uh, the flipped classroom is they watch a video of me teaching at home and come to school and they do their homework with me. So in order for them to do this, it's easiest if they have internet ac access. So uh, they either need to come out early before school or stay for our after school program to use a school's internet to watch my videos. An idea that I'd like to implement is checking out internet ports to students who don't have internet at home. A public library in a different town does this right now, and I think it would be a great idea. They do have the public library right now that they can go and use their internet, but a lot of students don't have a way to get there. The digital divide, do I, do I think it can be fixed? Um, I do think that it can be fixed, but we're going to have to have, one, the funds to do it, and two, the time for teacher training and to get people up to date on everything. Um, I do think that the problem of students having internet is soon going to be fixed, but I don't know when that will be. I think it's going to be part of our school supply list in the near future, um, as we make the shift from scissors and glue and paper, um, it's going to be one thing on our list, internet access. <clears throat> the skills of the 21st century student are definitely changing. Um, some things that I need that th I think that they need to have are research skills, um, being able to find out if information is true or not. They should be have training on Google programs and some type of word processing skill. Um, even though I do think Google is a future and a majority of all jobs will have Google programs, I still think that they're gonna, going to be uh, having to use Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, which is very similar to slides and docs and sheets, but I think that they should be able to do both. Um, a lot of different professional environments have the word processing programs instead of Google uh, and strong typing skills. I think that will be a definite job requirement. If you chicken peck type, I don't think those people will be able to get a job in the near future. Um, they need to have proper uh, typing form and be good at it. Um, typing slow can take a lot away from productivity. 
and how to train oneself on programs. If I would ask you to learn how to do this program, that you know that you have the skills to be able to go and figure it out for yourself. Um, a little bit about career pipelines. I think in the near future that students are going to be asked to pick what they want to do earlier and we're going to start giving them specific skills to add. Um, I see a little bit of this happening right now. So if we could get them to pick their career path earlier, we could give them specific training to where they're going. Uh, skills that I think that they should have are coding and types of professional programs. For example, Tinkercad and CAD software would be good if they're going to be an architect, and QuickBooks training would be awesome if they were going to be an accountant. Um, if they knew these programs as they're going out into the workforce, I would think it'd make them highly marketable. The global economy's effect on my use of the internet. Um, first of all, there's a lot of negativity out there that I don't like my students to see. Um, so I do try to filter things out quite a lot so they don't see so much negativity, um, so much branding and things. Uh, money has a lot to do with the internet. Uh, our funding for technology as well as different devices and everything's becoming more expensive and schools simply can't afford it. Also, there's a lot of fake information out there. Um, it's easy to change a Wikipedia page or to make a free website. Anybody can do it and uh, it's our job to teach students to be able to decipher information and internet safety is a growing concern. Uh, not giving out information on the internet um, as I get students in eighth grade, uh, some of them don't know what information that they can and cannot give out on the internet, which is kind of a scary thought. So hopefully the global economy keeps going up so we uh, gain more access to the technology that we need. Technology, tra technology training that I need, um, I would really like some coding training and I would also like basic technology. Um, somebody came into my room over the summer and cleaned, which was awesome, but they unplugged all of my devices. So, as I'm trying to plug back in my Mimeo, my projector, my Elmo, I had no idea which cord was which. So I was trying to remember how I plugged them into my computer. Um, if I had a little bit of more technology training on that aspect, I would be able to identify cords. I would really find that useful. It would have definitely taken me less time than it did to plug back in my things. Do we have 21st century technology in our district? Uh, right now we're one-to-one -one Chromebooks, first through 12th grade. Um, there's new Mimeo boards in our new building that's being constructed at this moment. That'll be second through fifth. So all second through fifth teachers will have a Mimeo board. Um, each building also has access to an iPad cart. Uh, we have fast internet and a projector if you want it. In my classroom, I have a Mimeo board, a projector, which I don't ever use because I always use my Mimeo. Uh, this is what my Mimeo looks like um, in the picture right there. It has a projector mounted right on the wall. Um, I have the one-to-one -one Chromebooks, iPad cart, which I have to watch out because sometimes it's checked out. Um, fast internet. I also have GoPros. I have 3D printers. I have two large printers and six small printers. I have 20 Hummingbird Robotics. If you've never seen them, you should probably check them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, I have a TV, and I'm the only one in the district that has cable an Apple TV and a swivel. Um, swivel is what I use to do my flip class when recording my videos. Um, the only thing of those I don't use, I don't use my Apple TV because I'm not for sure how I'm working on it. Um, then I have a few things that I purchased myself from working concession stands. I have five classroom iPads, two Osmo devices, a Kano coding and a Piper coding kit. Um, if you've never checked those out, you should definitely do it. I would recommend the Piper coding. Web 2.0 Advantages uh, is very engaging. Uh, my students love to do the activities on the computers and my devices. Um, it's a real world. They're learning skills, uh, not only what I'm teaching them, but their technology skills that they're going to need in the future, and great communication and collaboration. Um, students can work on a project from two different locations. Even if they're not in the same room, they can still work together. Disadvantages. Sometimes internet is unreliable, uh, internet access is unreliable, um, but it's all about problem solving and figuring it out. Um, technology is expensive, um, we need training as well as our students, uh, cyberbullying is a growing concern, and uh, me monitoring and watching for copyright 
Um, my students are getting increasingly better at closing out of windows quickly so I kind of have to watch them um, as I walk around. Uh, next year we're getting a new program that uh, shows me what's on each screen on my one computer screen which will be very useful. Cyberbullying, this is what goes on in my classroom. Cyberbullying comes in from other classrooms. It's a growing concern. Um, we have a program right now that alerts administrators if certain words are typed in emails so we can kind of crack down on that. Um, again, the screen viewing that I was talking about, the overall we can't control what's going on at home, which is a growing concern. Um, we do let our Chromebooks go home. Um, I would just recommend uh, telling students about bullying and uh, signs to be aware of, how to report it. Uh, right now we're working on internet safety rules and Chromebook rules. Um, I'm hoping to have posters in every classroom so that we're all the same. Uh, but thanks for watching my presentation.